Okay, now it's story time. We are going to listen to the story title Anansi and the Pot of Wisdom. Pay attention and listen attentively. At the end, you'll be asked some questions about the video. The last time we met, we heard a story about Anansi and the birds. Now you might think that a fall from the kingdom of the birds to almost certain doom would have dampened Anansi's spirits and maybe taught him a lesson in humility. But you know Anansi, he doesn't stay humble for very long. <laughs> and we're going to find that out in this next story called Anansi and the Pot of Wisdom. Anansi and the Pot of Wisdom. Anansi boasted loud and clear, of all the creatures Nyami created, I, Anansi, am the smartest. I, Anansi, am the cleverest. I, Anansi, am the best of them all. Up in the heavens, Nyami heard him. He laughed his big god laugh. Ha, 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 ha. That, Anansi, that tiny itsy bitsy spider, he thinks of all creation, he's the smartest, he's the cleverest, he's the best of them all. So he said to Anansi, Anansi, if you are the smartest, I want you to do something for me. And Anansi said, what? And Yami said, I want you to go about the face of this earth. Every time you hear a piece of wisdom, I want you to take it. If you hear some good advice, I want you to take it. If you hear something smart, I want you to take it. And I want you to bring it all up to me in the heavens. <gasps> so Anansi said, if I do that, what will you give me in return? And Yami said, I will have a crown made for you. It will be a golden crown. It will have the words, the sage of all time. Now Anansi, he loved crowns. He could just imagine himself walking down Main Street with a crown on his head and everybody would say, oh, look at Anansi. Isn't he smart? Isn't he clever? Oh, how he wanted the crown. So Anansi said, yes. Now you and I may think that bringing the wisdom of the world is something really hard, but Anansi, he was a collector of wisdom. All his life, he had been going to and fro, taking wisdom from here, a proverb from there, good advice from here, knowledge from there. And indeed, he had the wisdom of the world, which he kept in a pot, which he hid in his garden. So when Yami said, bring me the wisdom of the world, and Hansi said yes, he went to his backyard, he went to his garden, he dug up the pot of wisdom, and he decided to take it to Yami. Now, in those days, if you wanted to see Nami, you had to go to the coconut tree that stood in the center of the village. It was a tall coconut tree. It went way up into the sky. It went as far as the clouds. And if you could climb that coconut tree, and if you got off it, you would be on the driveway to Nami's mansion. So Anansi, he picked up the pot. He considered how he would climb the coconut tree. Now, if you know a Nancy, Nancy is a spider, you will know he has eight arms and legs. And so a Nancy tied the pot to his back. That way he could use all eight arms and legs to climb the coconut tree. If you've ever seen a coconut tree, you will know it doesn't have branches low down. All the branches are way high up. So to climb a coconut tree, you've got to wrap your limbs around it and you've got to scale up and up. So Anansi, he tied the pot to his back, he went to the coconut tree, he put first one arm, then two arms, then three arms, and four arms, and one leg, and two legs, and three legs, and four legs around the coconut tree, and he began to climb. Now it was morning, and people were passing from their houses to their farms, from their houses to the market, and they saw Anansi on the tree, they knew he was going up to see him. And they gathered just like we are gathered here today. And they began to cheer him on. They said, go Anansi, go Anansi.
Nancy. Go with Nancy. Go with Nancy. They said, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And Nancy climbed higher and higher and faster and faster. He was tired, but he was not going to quit. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed until at last he was near the top of the tree. When he got to the top of the tree, the people got so excited. They said, and Nancy, you did it. And then Nancy got so excited. He said, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then all of a sudden, it seemed to him as if his world was turning around. It seemed to him as if the wind was blowing. Oh, no. He wondered if he was upside down. It took him a while, but he figured it out that he was indeed falling and falling and falling and falling until at last he hit the ground with a big bang. It broke into many, many pieces. Boys and girls, my grandmother was there and she said, Wisdom grew feet and legs and run, north and south and east and west and all the places in between. Wisdom jumped into people's pockets, slept under people's pillows, slipped into backpacks, and all of a sudden, wisdom was everywhere. And everybody, every boy, every girl, every man, every woman, every color, everybody got a piece of wisdom. My grandmother says, that is why we have to listen to one another. Otherwise, we'll never know what someone else got. But you might be wondering what happened to Anansi. Anansi lay there with the pieces of broken pottery all around him. And he cried. He said, I nearly did it. I was so close. And Yami said to Anansi, Anansi, I gave you eight arms and legs. If you had all wisdom, you would not have waved them all. Was climbing a tree. Oh, said Nancy. Oh, no. That's the one that got away. The story of mine, whether good or bad, I tell it to you today. Now you go tell someone. <laughs> shared with you a little piece of the history. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the story. Click on the activity below the video and do some uh, some exercises about the story you just heard. Thank you and let's move on to our evaluative activities.